Hey, Flynn here. I uh, wanted to put together a demo that would show how you can have someone upload a file to Creator and then have it show up in, in CRM. Um, there are a number of different ways to do this and kind of different scenarios you could handle. Um, but in this example, I'm going to create a, a new form. So the only thing I've really done so far is I've, I've created a new app in, in Creator. And then I'm going to go ahead and create a new form. And so we'll call, make a blank form here. Uh, we'll call this um, document upload. Create a new form. And I want someone to put in their email address so that I can match it up with a contact in CRM. I could also pre-populate it with their ID from CRM and hide it or something like that. But um, email is an easy example. So I'm going to pop an email field onto here. And then we want a file that they will upload. So we'll go down and grab the file upload field here. And then I also um, wanted to integrate to CRM. So I want this, I want a field that will be populated with a contact. And we're going to write a little bit of script to do that. So we'll drop this here. Let's see, we're going to use CRM. It's going to integrate with, okay, this could be leads, could be contacts. I'm going to use contacts. And we're going to show here our email address. This doesn't really matter. It's just a display field that'll show. Um, all right. And I'm going to set this. This is important. So I'll call this set of integration, which is the default, not very descriptive name. I'm going to call this CRM contact. And then this field link name, this is just programmatically how we refer to it. And I'm going to set this so that only the admin sees it. Okay, so that way when I publish this and have someone fill it out, they don't see that. They can't click into it and see a list of contacts or anything. We don't have to worry about any of that. And then here, email is fine. I could call this you know, your email. And then file upload. That's fine. And I could say, like, I could call this attach file here, whatever I want. So... Now I've got this and so far, if I just go ahead and access my app, pretty basic so far. Let's just get a place I can, uh, sometimes this takes a minute when I'm recording at the same time, not sure why. Uh, all right, so I can fill in an email address there. It's only going to allow valid email addresses. I can click here to upload a file, and then I've got my CRM field, which will show me contacts that are in CRM. Um, but right now it's, yeah, I'm going to set this automatically so that no one ever has to pick this. All right, so that's where we are so far. So now we're going to write a little bit of workflow. What I want to happen is that when somebody hits submit, it will check the email address at that point. And if it matches, it's going to populate the link to the contact field, which is how I'm going to establish the integration back to CRM. So I'm going to create a new workflow that runs. All right, so no workflow so far. Click the new workflow button here. Choose that it's workflow. I want it to run while using the form. And form is document upload, the only one that is there. I really only need to run when they're creating it because no one's going to come back and access this again. Uh, at least my, my customers won't. And I'll call this um, upload created. And I can have multiple workflows within this, but I only need one. So I'm going to add a new action. And this action that I'll do will be to run Deleuze script. And this is really important. I'm going to run it on validate. All right. So now, um, so now here's here's where the, the scripting part comes in. So I'm going to grab a list of contacts that match on that email address. So um, it's possible I get multiple contacts back. I'm going to assume that you only have each email address in there once. Otherwise, this will work, but it's arbitrarily going to pick one person. As I mentioned, you could also do this based on contact ID and have that set up instead. Um, the only way someone knows their contact ID is if you give them a direct link to it, which I will I'll show you towards the end. Um, so I'm going to say my contacts equals and then and Zoho.crm.search records. 
and then I'm going to search the contacts module. And then the string that I'm looking for here um, can actually make this a little easier to read if I say search string equals, and this is going to be the left bracket email colon equals and the colon, and then the email address is input. I call that your email. And I have to add the closing left bracket, and that should do that. So now, to make this a little easier to read, I could do it it's all in one line. Basically, my search string, like, has to look something like, if I was searching for my own email address, it would have to look like email equals. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm making that by um, adding the email address submitted into that string. Okay, and then um, I'm only going to do this if I find a match. So if uh, my contacts dot size, I get the size of this is greater than zero, I'll go ahead and run my run my code. Um, otherwise, if that's not a valid email address, it doesn't match up with anything in CRM, it's going to give them an alert and I will cancel the submit so this record doesn't get added. Okay, so now I'm only getting one contact, hopefully, but I'm going to set this up as if, I, um, because my contacts will be, will hopefully have one or more contacts. So I'm going to say for each, um, current contact in my contacts. Okay, so I'm going to loop through all the records returned in my contact, which is probably one, but then um, I'm going to get the, then it's going to be current contact each time I go through the loop. So I want to get an email address um, out, of, out of here. And all right, actually, um, so the only thing I need from this contact is I need the ID so I can set my lookup field to that contact. So I'll say uh, ID equals this contact, but get ID. And then, because I know any contact return will get an ID, so I don't have to worry about whether this is going to be null or anything like that. If I'm getting a contact, it certainly has an ID. And unless the, unless the API name of that field changes, I'm in good shape there. Uh, so then I'm going to set the CRM contact to that ID, right? And now oh, typo, email address not found. All right, so, um, so far so good here. I'm going to go ahead and save this, this contact. Oh yeah, it's not this contact, it's current contact, but you knew that, right? Okay, so that's saved. So this is syntactically correct. Let's see, does this work? So I'm going to go ahead and run this. And I know I have a contact with extra at acme.com, I believe is the email address. I'm going to go ahead and just grab a file here, just some random file I have sitting on my computer. And I'm going to hide this after when I submit this. If I go to my list of documents now, did it attach it? Yep, CRM contact field got populated. It's showing me the email address of it, which isn't super exciting, but I know that, that now that is, is getting linked up correctly. All right, so now I, um, I wanna get this connected. Actually, let's, let's publish it first. So this is okay for us, but we need somebody else to be able to access it, um, to be able to do anything with it. So let's, edit the application. And if you want to dress this up a little bit, you might want to put some instructions in here. So you might grab a note field is good for that. So you can go in here and grab a notes field, pop it up to the top, and then you can edit this. You can edit it here directly. You can edit the HTML for it, um, please. Document using the field below. Do you have any questions? 
please contact us at our service at Acme. Um, all right, so whatever you need to, um, you can put details in there. That might help when it's being filled out. And then we set this field so that only the ad administrator sees it. So now we need to go ahead and publish this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and go into settings here and publish. And I'm going to publish this form. And I'm going to take this permalink. And now this is what I will send someone when I want them to, uh, to upload a document. Now you could send this out different ways. You could put this into a template in CRM that you can send. You can email them a link. You could create something that sends out on a schedule, um, either as workflow in CRM or a schedule, or even you know, further the creator app to, uh, to put something in there. Just to show you how this works. Okay, and if I wanted to make this really foolproof, I would pre-populate the email address using a, a template in CRM or however I might get at the end of this URL here. I'm, I'm pointing at my screen as if you can see that. Um, at the end of this crazy long URL, put a question mark and then your underscore email equals and then the name and then their email address. So then if you go to that URL, then it's going to actually pre-populate this. And if that's the case, I might want to disable this field and that way no one can put in the wrong email address or make something up or you know go fishing to see who else is might, might be in, in CRM. And so now same thing, I'm going to go in here, pick the file that I want to send. Okay, and then go ahead and hit submit. No, oh, and it doesn't like it, right, because my email address isn't actually in there. But if I did this, so that email equals so at acme.com, I think it was. There we go. Okay, then it'll submit it. Now, it tells me it's been added successfully. That's a little basic. I might want to redirect this to a simple page that I created that says, you know, thank you for sending your document. Uh, or, you know, there's all sorts of ways I could extend this from here. But this, this gives me a way to upload that document. So now let's go ahead and hook this bad boy up to CRM. So I'm going to go into MO account and CRM. And then in setup, we're going to go to Marketplace and then Zoho. And then go into, see this is, um, see I used to only really do work with CRM and didn't get into Creator so much years ago. And then I thought, ah, Creator's just kind of like custom modules, but now that, and, you know, what can be done with it, we actually are yeah, doing probably more with Creator than, than CRM. Um, but anyways, one of the things that you can do is you can have this kind of functionality in Creator and then tie it in. So it's, it's kind of like having a custom module. So you say import app from Zoho Creator, you pick uh, client upload, form name is um, document upload. And then, now oh, actually, before we do that, hang on, I'm gonna cancel out of here. I wanna make sure that I've got a form, a, a report that I like that has the right fields in it. So right now, if I run this, let's see what we've got. I go to document upload. Okay, I get the email address. I get the contact name. I don't really need to see the, the contact name in my related list in CRM. I want to see maybe the date and time it was uploaded. And I want a link to, the, to see the file name. So I'm actually going to create one more report in here before I link this up, just for the purpose of, of serving as my related list. So now I will click on here, create a new report. It's a list report based on the form document upload. And I'll call this related documents. Okay, if I was using the app as more than just a front end, I might hide it in Creator because this is really going to be only be used by CRM. And I'll create the report and then configure fields. And I don't need the contact. I don't need their email address. I just need the file upload. And I might like to see either the added time or the modified time, which for us will really be the same. So I'll put that in here. All right. 
and then yeah so that looks good so then i will close that and then okay so now i'm going to go back to crm and say client upload it is the document upload form this can show up as a as a separate tab in here um, if i want to put on a tab group i can do that all right, so then we'll go next. You don't need to do anything here with customizing the form. We're not going to do our editing. We do that all in Creator. Uh, we'll go save and next, and then link this app to a module. So we'll call, make a related list that says document uploads. Okay, this is where the magic comes in. And this will appear on contacts. And we're going to match the contact ID field to, oh, hang on. Um, and this should show me. Um, all right. So I'm going to find out why that is not showing up here. All right. So this is pretty smooth so far. It's about to get a little bumpy, but we might actually need to go in here. And then... Go into, it might not like it, that form is set to um, be only accessible by admins. So I'm going to go in here and change this up. All right, so I'm going to set this up so everyone can see it here. But then on workflow, we're going to go ahead and hide this thing. So now workflow and this is for while well, using the form, document upload. I'm going to put this in the same workflow as our other code. I just want to go in here and set this to hide the CRM contact field. Okay. That should allow me to link it based on that instead. All right. So I'll go ahead and done then. Now we also need to re, might need to republish it. Let's just see if we've got, it's still gonna show, no, it's still okay, feels still hidden. Um, that's fine. All right, so now we'll give this another go. We're gonna edit this, hit next. So next, link this custom module. Uploads, contacts, by contact ID is equal to, okay, see there, now because um, I'd forgotten, because we made that an admin only field, we can link based on that. So now we just hit it instead with uh, with our workflow. And so now we link it up. And now here's where we create the one that says related documents. So that way we get exactly the fields we want in CRM. All right, so, and then in that list, what files do I, or what fields do I wanna see? Uh, I just want to see the added time and the file upload, and that's fine. Hit save there. Hit finish. Okay, cool. So now we know that. Let me just go back to too many tabs open here. So we know that in this, for that contact, we've got a couple of documents added. Yes, it's the same one. Um, but now if I go into CRM and go to contacts, Let's go find this, just a contact. Okay, my demo names are not always very creative. And I've got document uploads down here. And yes, you can also see the demo widget that's here. Uh, here we go. Okay, so now we've got the file there. It's kind of a long, funny file name that you'll see uh, in this list. If you click on that, then you should have a link to it here. You can click on it and download the file. Okay, so that has allowed us to build something in Creator, um, but integrated with CRM. You can see the time here, and we're good to go. All right, so um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll post this video. I'll, I'll send out a, a link to it. If you have any questions about it or thoughts on it, uh, as always, uh, feel free to comment or uh, pop me an email. All right, thanks.